Hi folks, I'm Paul Gordon and welcome to my Murphy's at the table experience where you're going to learn a lot of routines including my lightweight. So we've got two piles of cards here. Now I can prove this to you in a moment but if I do this correctly that's nine cards. But just to kind of prove that I can actually do that, um, what I would like you to do is to uh, cut some cards off the top. I won't look as you do it, but cut some cards less than half the deck, otherwise we'll be here all day, and then count them in a way that I don't see them, but maybe the camera can. And whilst you do that, I need some cards from the deck here. So I don't know how many you cut off. No. And it was a random amount as far as you were concerned. Okay, let's see if we can do this. All right. I'm going to weigh these, and I'm going to weigh these. A bit heavy here. Mm, a bit heavy here. Sort of a bit heavy. I think these contain the same amount. How many cards did you count in here? There were 19. Can you count how many are in the cards I just weighed for you? Yeah. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19. I managed to get both. There we are, folks. That's it. Thank you. You're going to learn things like the thought of card miracle. The spectator just thinks of a card and you instantly know what it is and then you repeat it. I'm going to take out one of these cards and leave it in my pocket. Think of any number between 1 and 16 and then um, look at the card that lies at the position from the uh, top of the packet. On the top. Okay. I'm going to show you cards in an unusual fashion here. Um, your card might have vanished already, you know that. It's a thought of card, isn't it? Can you see a card in that group? No. Do you remember the card in my pocket? I can get it out there. That's been in my pocket from the start, hasn't it? Yeah. What was the card that you were just thinking of? The two of diamonds. Two of diamonds? And that is the two of diamonds. Yeah. That's weird, isn't it? Do you remember the number you still you thought of it originally? Yep. Can you go back to that number in the cards and look at the card that now lies at the new position from the top? I'm going to ask you to do something you and I are going to be surprised at being a magician. Do you want to shuffle the cards? Sure. There's no way I can know what the card is, is there? I'm going to really use them. I'm going to spread them face up. I think I know what it is already. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. Ace of spades. Was the ace of spades. Oh, yeah. That's good. You're going to learn work about uh, forcing cards, culling cards, and um, palm and elm count and other things that go with it. What I would like you to do is to give them a shuffle. Oh, give them a shuffle. You, I'm not going to show you what they are yet, but just give them a shuffle. I'm going to deal the cards onto the table. It's a free choice. Which card do you want in your hand in a game of poker? Oh, I'll have this card in my That one there. Okay, you get an ace. There's nothing I can say about that, but it's an ace. Um, I'll, look, I'll speed, speed it up and I'll deal three cards and I'd like you to choose two of them. Oh, uh, I've got these two. That one there and that one there. So you get a pair of queens. I'll deal two cards and I'd like you to choose what I get. Oh, uh, I've got that one. Okay, I won't look at it yet, but we'll leave it there. Again, to speed it up, Mark, I'll deal three cards and choose two for me. Uh, you can have those two. The outside two. Yep. Bearing in mind you could have the middle one, they would obviously be different cards. Yep. Now, back to you. Which one would you like? Oh, this one, please. That one there, so you get a jack. Uh, two queens are still your best bet there. Again, for me. Uh, you can have that one there. And let's just recap here. You've got two queens, a jack and an ace, so your best bet is to get another queen, if possible, as quick as you can, top or bottom? Uh, top. Top. So you get two jacks, two queens, and an ace. That's a good hand. That's not bad, is it? Okay. But remember you shuffle the cards, mm -hmm. and, and you genuinely shuffle the cards. Yep. These are the cards you gave me, but I'm glad you did, Mark, because you gave me the ten, jack, queen, king, ace of spades, and that can't be beaten. Well, I didn't put money on that. I think you're in for a good time, we hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching. Paul Gordon, At The Table, Murphy's Magic.